guys, if you've got a Can-Am ATV or side-by-side -side and you're curious as to what's going on uh, under this left-hand uh, cover by your foot, basically what the where the belt drive system is, the CVT, uh, constant, continuously variable transmission, as uh, it's technically called. Uh, let's dig into it, see what's going on under here, see if I can explain it in some fairly uh, simple terms to you guys. Uh, we're basically going to get in here and clean them, uh, inspect them, but uh, let's just talk about what's going on with this belt drive and the uh, clutch system on your Can-Am ATV side by side. Continuously variable transmission or CVT for short. It's uh, what runs in the Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides and it is, it's an automatic system. There's no shifting gears with a clutch. It's basically a belt that moves between two sheaves and it allows for the correct gear ratio. So you have lots of torque, your bottom end power when you take off, you've got lots of power down there, yet you still have maximum engine horsepower running through your mid-range and up to your top end for top end speed. Another good analogy of, of how to explain it is it's very similar to the system that's on your mountain bike. Uh, being your front sprocket uh, where your pedals are up front here could be considered your drive or your primary clutch, your main clutch. Uh, the chain on your on your mountain bike, again, that would be your belt, pretty standard. And then the rear sprocket uh, would be the secondary clutch or the driven clutch. Now the one difference here is that you still, to get the correct gear ratio on your mountain bike, you manually, manually change it with the levers on your bars. Where on your ATV, it's the springs and the weights and centrifugal force uh, inside the clutches that does this automatically. So starting off at idle, you can see here how the belt sits low in the primary clutch. And then again, how it's sitting up nice and high in the secondary clutch. This gives you a really low gear ratio for when you first apply the throttle. Then, as you rev up the engine and the primary clutch squeezes itself together, causing the belt to rise, and the secondary clutch spreads itself apart, causing the belt to drop, this gives you the higher gear ratio for more top end. It's just the same as switching gears on your mountain bike. From being able to pedal easy through the rough terrain with a low gear ratio, to again, changing the levers on the handlebars and selecting a higher ratio, higher gear ratio for higher speed trail riding or road riding. So I hope you guys kind of understand my analogy here uh, with the bike and as to what's going on with these clutches. Um, shoot me a comment if you got any questions or you got uh, maybe a little bit better explanation. Uh, by all means, uh, uh, post a comment up on this video. I'm going to dig out my tools here and get these things cleaned up. Uh, talk a bit more about uh, how the springs, the levers, uh, helixes, how all that stuff works with the clutches, how it makes them shift, how they, uh, how they perform. And uh, yeah, again guys, thanks and stay tuned.